Hey, what's happening everybody? Pizza Beats back at you with another video and today I'm doing my first ever movie review as I promised on Doctor Strange. So let's get to it, shall we? So anyways, this movie was directed by Scott Derrickson and the production company was obviously Marvel Studios. Another successful installment as I pretty much enjoyed the movie when I walked out of that theater. The actors in the movie were Benedict Cumberbatch as, obviously, Doctor Strange. Sitwell Ejiofor, excuse me if I pronounce these names wrong, as Baron Mordo. Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One, Benedict Wong as Wong, and uh, Mads Mikkelsen as the villain, Cascalus. So yeah, the film has grossed over 344, 344 uh, million dollars, that I believe that's correct, and was met with positive reviews from critics who per particularly praised its visuals, acting, and musical score. And I gotta say myself, it was pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to talk to you about what happens in the movie. No spoilers, guys, so you don't have to worry. This is just a summary, so let's get to it, shall we? So anyways, life changes after a car accident robs Dr. Strange, or Stephen Strange, as, he, as he's known in the beginning of the video. Um, it robs him of his use of his hands, so he, can, he can't use his hands after this car crash. That's what we all see. So, when traditional medicine doesn't work for him, he looks for help at a mysterious enclave out of country, or America, obviously. And he, uh, he basically meets up with Tilda Swinton's character, the Ancient One. And she basically teaches Doctor Strange ways where he doesn't have to use his hand to be able to use his hands again. If that makes sense to you guys. So he basically studies the arts of magic, I guess, if that's what you guys want to call it. And then he quickly learns that over time, um, the place has a pretty, pretty dark secret to it, as he quickly learns that the enclave that he, that he went to is at the front line of a battle against unseen dark forces, which is Cascalus' character and his army. So it's basically up to Doctor Strange to put an end to this war before it destroys the world and possibly worlds and dimensions, you know. It's Doctor Strange, so this is a dimensional thing. It brings a new thing to the MCU, so mystical threats, yeah, and those are now existent in the MCU, so. Overall, though, I must say, the movie was mad lit, and I cannot tell you, in the beginning, when I when I first walked into the theater, I didn't think this would... I, like, I knew it was going to be successful, but I didn't think it would be this good where I liked it. So, my rating for this movie is a 5.5... If that exists, 5.5 stars. 5.5 stars. Not a complete 5 stars, just 5.5. It was pretty good. Thumbs up. I liked it. So, anyways, guys, I'm out. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out, everybody.